All right, what's up, everybody? The lighting is a bit much. Not the best lighting in this spot, but it is what it is. So, um, the Lord... So, you know, I, I live my life every day, every hour, just asking the Lord what he wants me to do. And he said that he wanted me to make a video. And I said, okay, Lord, what kind of video? And I went through the list and he said, Rhema Word. And I said, okay, well, it is the first of the month. Is this like a monthly, like Rhema, you know, word for the month of April? And he said, yes. I said, okay. And before I could even get my question out of my mouth, so to speak, he said alignment. And I said, okay, Lord. And, you know, I kind of knew already because how the Lord speaks to me and, and let this kind of be a, a brief little teaching for you if, if, it, if you need it. But the Lord will kind of speak to you and you might mistake what the Lord is saying to you as your own thoughts, but it's really God speaking to you. And so anyway, um, everything I'm, that I'm about to share here in this video is something that I've just been kind of sensing. I already have been knowing. Um, I even mentioned it in my last update video. Okay. So anyway, but what he said to me was alignment. And there's three particular points that he wants me to make, but I do just want to kind of... Um, start off by just saying, you know, I have noticed in the last, what, day, in the last 24 hours or so, that the Lord is aligning things, that things are clicking into place, but they're clicking into place on like certain dates and so forth, so that things are coming into order and they're nice and clean. Um, and so let me get, let me give you an example. So I'm about to check out of here tomorrow to go somewhere as I just stated in my last update video. Um, and you know, um, I have God's favor with this particular host at the, the Airbnb place that I'm going to. And this man told me that I could forward my mail there. Well, yesterday I attempted to forward my mail to go on to USPS and, and do that, but it wouldn't let me because um, I guess my bank took it upon themselves to go and change my address in my online account And so I had to change it back in my online account and then it had to wait a day So I wasn't able to actually change my address with the post office until today Well today is what the first day of the month and the Lord was speaking to me about that now something else that's happening I also shared this in my recent update video is um, so I booked a week at this Airbnb. I'm gonna check in tomorrow there and I'm gonna and, and then I have to check out the following Saturday the 9th and um, I'm actually renting an RV on this man's property and someone else um, booked it for that night Saturday night the 9th um, but then I was able to then go and book it again as of the 10th for the following week and what the Lord said to me was, and, and that night Saturday night the ninth, um, the host is gonna let me just kind of crash on his futon for free, so God's favor, hallelujah. But what the Lord was saying to me was, take a look at the calendar, right? So the month of April, and then even into the month of May, um, everything is running from uh, Sunday to Saturday, and no, I'm not talking about the Sabbath, the actual day of the week Sabbath is Saturday, I'm not talking about all that, but, but just in terms of order, okay? And so um, spending that one night, Saturday night, the 9th on his futon is gonna like realign me so that I, I have things going in, in, in a nice clean cut orderly fashion so that from that point on, I'm then able to make weekly reservations Sunday through Saturday and it lines up with the calendar. If you look at uh, April and May, um, let me just double check here, but I'm pretty sure May 1st is on a Sunday let me pull it up, I'm pretty sure. Um, and so he was just basically telling me, like, I'm getting you just into some nice clean cut order right now. Yeah, May 1st is a Sunday. Um, okay, so just little things like that. Also, something else that I noticed is, so, um, like for me personally right now, I'm doing a dairy fast. And my dairy fast will be up as of Tuesday. So as of this Tuesday, I can start eating dairy again. Um, well, I because I was able to... Um, order so I, I finally was able to order some grapefruit seed extract pills um, and have them sent to this man's address and I, I've been meaning to do that for weeks now um, because it's going to be part of a detox that I'm going to do soon um, and 
It was supposed to arrive Tuesday, but I got a notification today that it's now gonna arrive Monday. And so if I wanted to, I could then start the grapefruit seed extract pills, the regimen that I'm gonna do for detoxing the day after my fast ends, okay? If I, if I wanted to, if the Lord w uh, were to tell me to. I think he actually told me to wait till the month of May for some reason, and that's besides the point. But I'm just noticing all of these alignments, okay? Just things are just kind of um, happening. And it's not just me. I have a subscriber who was emailing me and um, he just, you know, um, left California, went to a different state to get his stuff out of storage and get his vehicle and all this stuff. And, um, you know, he was, he was going to try to get things done um, in terms of just running some errands and, and whatever that he had to do yesterday and it, it turned out that that didn't happen and so now he's doing it today, April 1st. And so I'm just noticing all these little things of just like dates and just order and just things being orderly and clean cut and all that and so you take that for what it's worth um, but that's what I've been noticing. Now the three points that, the, that, that God wants me to make and let me just say I know I've got some new subscribers, hello to everyone. I'm stumbling on my word. Hello to everyone. Let me pronunciate. Um, what was I going to say? <laughs> Welcome to the channel. Um, I am a very um, no-fluff kind of person. I'm from the Northeast. I grew up at the Jersey Shore, out in the boondocks, out in the woods. Um, I had my BA in psychology. I almost completed a master's of science in marriage and family therapy, so I'm well educated. Um, I'll be turning 40 this year, um, just to give just to give some the uh, new subscribers an idea. Um, but I am a very no fluff, um, no nonsense kind of person. Um, not that I can't be goofy, but very few people get to see that side of me. Um, and so I am not the type, and and I just. I can't stand it when people are fake. I can't stand lying and, and so forth. And so I am not some fake uh, prophet or whatever that comes on here and just you know makes stuff up out of thin air just to tickle people's ears. I'm not con I'm not interested in that. I'm not concerned with the amount of subscribers I have or, or anything like that. Um, my channel is shadow banned and censored and so forth. And so it, it just it is what it is and. Whatever. So I just want to preface that I am not the type to come on here and tickle people's ears. So that being said, the three bullet points that the Lord wanted me to make regarding this Rhema word for the month of April 2022 is romance, housing, and vehicles. And I know, I know, it sounds very much like a tickle your ear type of word. I am not making this up. This is what I believe the Lord told me to say. And to be, you know, um, transparent, as I pretty much always am, you know, um, I've had a sense. I just have this sense, and, and I hope I'm not wrong, but I have had this sense that my kingdom husband is going to finally be contacting me. I just have this sense. I have this, like, underlying excitement going on regarding that. Um, I already said in my recent update video that um, it looks as if I'm moving toward s some stability regarding housing and um, you know I was kind of just going on in my last update video about my my, my car. Um, this car, if you saw it, 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 it's so ghetto. This car is so ghetto. I would show it to y'all, but I don't want some people like trying to stalk me or something. But it, it's it's just, it's so ghetto. I've had to like, th there's so many things on it that are like ghetto rigged and, and it's just every time I turn around, there's something else wrong with it and blah, blah, blah. And so I need to go get some, st some more stuff fixed on it and, and whatever. Um, but yeah, I was just explaining all that in my last update video and saying how I need a new vehicle and how I'm back to praying for that again. Well, this is how the Lord is, you know, was already speaking before he officially told me to come on here and give this word. So I believe that the Lord told me to come on here and give a rhema word that in the month of 2000, in the month of April, 2022, uh, that there will be romance coming together. There will be housing coming together and there will be vehicles um, you know, things pertaining to getting a, a new or a different, not, not necessarily like brand new from the factory, but, but a new vehicle, um, and, and so forth. So you take that to the Lord and that's pretty much that. So, um, I'm excited. 
I'm excited. And you know, again, let me just say, not every rhema word applies to everyone. You got to ask the Lord if it applies to you or not. Um, a lot of people are saying, I mean, every year, the month of April, because of what April means, April means new beginnings, it means open doors, it means new life, right? It's, it's the, the time of spring and all that. And so every year around the month of April, you're going to hear people saying, oh, blessings are coming and this, that, and the other, okay? Um, I'm not the type, again, to tickle ears or jump on the bandwagon or anything like that. Um, and, but I also just heard Prophetess Courtney, she was saying on her channel that this month would be a month of reproof, of correction for some people. Um, so you got to ask the Lord what applies to you where are you at okay so this word may or may not apply to you you got to ask him okay so that's that I bless you all in the name of Yeshua the Christ of Nazareth and um, I probably won't come on here again well I mean I don't know tonight I'm gonna be running errands and tomorrow I got to go transition from one place to another so I may not be coming on here in the next day or two but anyway I bless you all in the name of Yeshua, the Christ of Nazareth, and um, talk to you soon, I guess. All right.